My name is Joshebet Isaacs and I am the Director of Early Autism Project uh, Malaysia. I have worked there for 15 years. So Early Autism Project um, started in September 2006. Over the years, essentially, the main, the main thing that we really do is intensive behavioural treatment programs. Um, and so we actually see a really amazing results where almost 50% of our children who go through the full program at a young age will be able to catch up to their typical peers. So this means that the IQ becomes like a typical age IQ. The developmental gap is closed or clo is very narrow. Um, and they're actually able to transition to a typical learning environment, like a typical school or kindergarten, um, with a bit of support initially, and then we fade back. So with the HOPE project though, which is our non-profit, we've then provided <clears throat> a lot of free services. So whether that's scholarships or we support non profit centers. We try to give them some training and support them. Um, and also we then have our Autism at Home resource platform um, where we put free videos on YouTube and on this so that parents can access that. One thing that our team does is they're therapists and then from being a therapist, they actually become like um, school shadows to support that child they're working with to transition to school. But as the young um, child becomes a teenager, becomes an adult, our role then shifts to supporting them on the job and so it's more like job coaching. So you actually break down the job and the requirements of the job um, and to help them. And so, of course, it would be wonderful if more companies were willing to take a certain population. Like I understand Uniqlo, I think, has, I think, 2% um, of their staff have, have disabilities, which is really wonderful. And if more and more organizations could afford to do that, then um, you, you'd have so much more opportunities for people with special needs, including those with autism and even other special needs as well. When a brand like Uniqlo shares this, it really raises awareness significantly because of the reach, because of the platform. When a company like Uniqlo says, hey, yeah, we will take their drawings and um, give, them, give the drawings as they are, we want to see it through the children's eyes, immediately there is a celebration. Um, it, it's a huge thing um, when, when you know, Uniqlo is willing to do something like this. And so we're very appreciative. There's a lot of excitement. The children themselves were so proud to see their work featured um, in Uniqlo and our team as well. So um, it's, it's really an exciting um, collaboration.